Hey, what's up everybody? Pete with Auto Pair Tips. Every year about this time, I always have to run out and get a pair of boots. I'm not sure about you guys, but I live in my boots. I have to get boots once a year, sometimes every eight months. Weirdly enough, I was contacted by this company on Amazon called Indonda, I believe is how you pronounce it. I'm, I think that's how you say it. But anyway, they sent me these boots to look at. It's their Cozy brand. And I said, sure, I'd give them a try. You know, I'll review them and I'll put them through the test. I'll wear them for about a day or so. And then I'll let you guys know what I think of them. If they turn out to be something decent, I'll put a link in the description below. I do make a small commission if you purchase these things. And I appreciate that. All right, let's get into the video. You know, they got steel toe in them. And I'm not much on steel toe. I normally don't wear steel toes, and that's what I told a lady, but she swears up and down that I'm not gonna notice a difference. And to be honest with you, using them right now up and down, I really don't notice that much of a difference. Not bad, they got a pretty good grip on it. I've been through oil and water so far and haven't had any slippage. One thing though is they're a little wide through here. I normally wear a 12, 12 and a half. I think I bought these in a 12 and they're bigger than normal, which is fine with me because I'd rather have a little bit bigger through here anyway, especially when I'm working, especially in the summertime when it gets hot because my feet always swell a little bit. So we're working on this car and an oil line just broke. So uh, we're putting these shoes to the test again. Seems to be doing all right though. It's got good traction. I don't really feel it slipping or skidding or anything like that. So before I reviewed these, I just went and looked and see what other people had to say about them. And one guy, he talked nothing but trash about it and he never put the shoes on. You know, his first three minutes of his video was just bashing the shoe. And I'll be honest with you, they're comfortable and they're definitely oil resistant and slip resistant. The only thing basic I haven't done was checked in to see if they're water resistant. So we're pulling cars in, getting ready to go home tonight. What better test? Let's go stain us some water. Mm, so far so good. And they are water resistant. And that was probably in about three inches of water. So after about two days of using the boots, I have no issues at all. You saw I went through water, oil, oil dry, cleaned up, up and down, climbed ladders. They gave me no problem at all. Um, I didn't, there was no slipping or gripping issue. I saw other videos, like I said earlier, that people had said something like that. I didn't come across that at all. So it looks like I'm keeping the boots. Last year I spent about 160 on boots. These were about $120. I think they're well worth it. I thought the steel toe was gonna to be a factor, and again, I didn't even know it was there. I did weigh the boots. Each one weighs two pounds, the new ones and my old ones. So they weighed exactly the same. That being said, I will be endorsing these boots. I have no problems at all putting my name on it. And there will be a link in the description below if you need a pair of boots, especially with wintertime coming. All right, that is it for this video. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Catch you later.